when we were young, you know, we observed one thing, which is how our parents' food can actually make people happy. When we look at them digging into that delicious bowl of curry, you know, after a long day of work, the smile on their face is something that we feel that is very comforting. That is why we decide to continue with this business. Hi, I'm Edric. I'm Edwin and we are brothers. We are the second generation of Fusiang Signatures. Nine years ago, we took over this business because we want to keep our parents' heritage and bring this brand forward. If I did not remember wrongly, it's somewhere during my primary school days, my parents were actually starting to sell curry then. And at that point of time, the first time I ate curry, it was a wonderful experience for me. And we want to continue to bring the joy and happiness from our parents to the future generations to come. To us, a good curry must be comforting for the soul. It must be able to give us a sense of belonging. Of course, it must have the right level of spiciness, not being too unbearable because spiciness will just overpower everything. Our curry chili paste is made in-house. It's made out of 21 ingredients including herbs and spices. You know, it takes 9 hours to actually cook from scratch to the end product. My brother and I were actually in the fashion industry before coming back to this business. Along the way, you know, we wanted to go into different trades, but ultimately we still come back to F&B. The reason why we plan to take over this business because when we were young, we actually noticed how our parents' food can make people happy. And we believe in our parents' recipe and we want to bring it forward so that the future generations can actually enjoy the food that we grew up with. When we were young, we were actually helping out with our parents' business. We started off from taking orders, cutting vegetables, helping them, along the way moving up to cooking. So that's how we actually started to learn how to cook. The best dish in Fusiang to me is the chicken biscuit curry rice. Because of the, you know, the cream cracker that we actually batter with it, and then with the crispiness after frying it, plus the gravy, just, you know, something called shok lah. It's like a perfect combination. For the younger crowds, we actually have the sambal fried chicken, the non-so-spicy version of the sambal, and then we added a new add-on like the cheese topping. So our next dish is our you know, emperor cream sauce, which a lot of people technically mistaken it for salted egg, which is not. It's made out of butter and milk. And I believe that you know, why most people mistaken it for salted egg is because it has a similar taste. Our fish egg curry asam is actually our next popular item. Uh, the reason why we want to focus on this dish is because it's a communal food. It's something that everyone can share and enjoy. There's a bit of sour touch to it, you know, not too overwhelming again, so that more people can actually enjoy this fish head curry or something. The first few years of this business is actually very difficult. I would say the first three years, in fact, is one of the most difficult periods that we had because we were new, we were just starting. Despite curry chicken being popular during my parents' time, but we were still new in the scene. It takes a lot of time to build the reputation and build the confidence in our customer. Our plan for Fusiang is to bring this brand internationally. We want to also make our chicken curry an iconic dish because in Singapore, there's so many iconic dishes, but chicken curry isn't one of them. I understand it's actually a very bold statement, but that's the direction that we're heading to. On top of that, we want to inspire and nurture the younger generations you know, to take up the F&B trade. If we don't do it, no one else will. We do not want the taste of Singapore to just disappear. We want to make sure that the future generations can actually enjoy the foods that we have.